Your Excellencies, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, I am pleased to join you at this TCAD Eight side event session on accelerating clean energy access with climate finance. Africa has made significant progress in terms of access to energy over the past 20 years as the share of the population with access to electricity increased from 36% to 56%. Since the African Development Bank launched its new deal on energy for Africa in 2016, our financing has helped to connect 21 million persons to electricity. Our priority has been to help unlock the huge renewable energy potential that Africa has in abundance. Now, tapping into these vast renewable energy sources will accelerate the transition of Africa towards provision of more cleaner energy sources for its population. The bank increased the share of renewable energy in its energy generation investment portfolio from 56% in 2010 to 2015 to 85% during 2016 to 2021. Over the past five years, the bank has also invested a total of $7.4 billion in energy and mobilized $950 million in co-financing sources, including from the European Union Commission, the Climate Investment Fund, and the Green Climate Fund. The bank has made several major investments in renewable energy as part of our commitment towards achieving net zero emissions in Africa. The bank financed the 510 megawatts new Wazazat solar power project Morocco, the largest concentrated solar power plant in the world. The 310 megawatts Lake Turkana wind power plant in Kenya, Africa's largest wind power plant. The 420 megawatts Natchigal hydropower plant, the largest privately financed hydropower plant in Africa. Utility scale renewable energy projects, including four solar photovoltaics independent power producers, IPPs, in Egypt for a total of 350 megawatts. Through the bank's financing for the last mile connectivity project in Kenya, the country has been able to connect over 2.2 million persons to electricity via the grid while lowering their grid connection costs from $350 to $150. Now, despite all these investments, Africa still has close to 600 million people without access to electricity. A large share of this population is in the Sahelian countries. And that is why the African Development Bank is mobilizing $20 billion to support what we call desert to power program that will construct 10,000 megawatts of solar power plants across 11 countries in the Sahel and provide access to clean energy for 250 million people. However, renewable energy alone, I must say, will not provide energy security for Africa, given the intermittency of renewable energy sources. Climate change has made relying on hydropower more unreliable due to frequent droughts that have lowered water levels in dams, causing instability in power supply. Therefore, natural gas must be part of the energy mix of Africa. Now, we must also ensure access to clean cooking energy for households, especially for women. Ladies and gentlemen, Africa will need greater volumes of climate finance as available climate finance for Africa falls way short of its needs by $127 billion per year between 2020 and 2030. Over the past six years, we have allocated $14.7 billion to climate finance. We increased the share of the bank's finance for climate from just 9% in 2016 to 41% today. And we have doubled our commitment to climate finance to reach $25 billion by 2025. 
as we look towards COP27 in Sharm el Sheikh, Egypt. We must now move from promises to concreteness or financing. The $100 billion annually in climate finance promised by developed countries to developing countries must be met. Africa is ready for just energy transition. But it can only make that transition if global climate finance transitions from promises to financing. So, let us turn promises into commitments. Let us turn commitments into financing. Net zero emissions cannot be achieved with zero financing. Together, let us provide greater volumes of climate financing for Africa. Thank you very much.